This is Alvarez's former redemption story. <laughs> <laughs> Alvarez's redemption story, take one. Hey, my name is Al Barrera, and this is my redemption story. A lot of people don't know, I was actually saved at Circle Drive Baptist Church when I was six years old. I walked the aisle past the Golden Pews on the way down, passing up deacons and others who might want to help uh, for the sake of talking to preach and telling him, that's you're the one I have to talk to about this. Um, Six years old, I, I prayed, I accepted Christ, and in my understanding of what it meant uh, to be a Christian, I understood that uh, I had to turn away from sin. I understood that, that I was a sinner and that it separated me from God, um, but that was about the limit. Of, of what it looked like at that time in my understanding. Uh, years passed, 17, 18 year old, uh, we had moved to California and I had uh, been involved with several youth groups, mission trips, uh, the different things that you do in student ministry over time, but by 18 years of age, began to have a different understanding uh, of my faith. Uh, and over that 10, 11 years, like so many do, I began to question whether this was my faith or whether it was simply what I was brought up with, whether it belonged to my parents. And uh, in that, I, I began to wrestle with certain questions. I began to justify particular actions. And, and I began to wonder, uh, was this really mine? And so for the next three or four years, I wrestled with this idea. Flash forward to about the age of 23. I had in, in that last four or five years, really attempted to distance myself from the Lord. I justified that by saying I was distancing myself, not from God, but from Christians, from hypocrisy, from arrogance, from all of these things that, that I, I thought were attached to the Christian faith. Uh, never going as far as to deny that, that I had a, a relationship with Jesus. But the reality was that by pushing away other believers, I was in fact pushing God away. And, and I didn't recognize in so many ways uh, the way in which the things that I was saying I disliked in Christians were already resting on me and in me. That the hypocrisy that I was supposedly pushing against was actually what I was embracing in myself. That the arrogance that, that I was pushing against was settled firmly on my shoulders. And it began to become evident to me that something needed to change. And so I vividly remember, uh, it was a Sunday morning, I'd gotten home uh, about three in the morning, don't ask me what I did the night before, but I got home late, you know, Saturday night, went to sleep, woke up Sunday morning, probably about 8.30. I thought to myself for maybe the first time in, in a, a couple of years, I'm gonna go to church today. No idea that was gonna be happening the night before. So I went to church. I, I was living in the San Francisco Bay Area at the time. I went to First Baptist San Francisco where I'd been a part of a youth group years before. Um, walked in the doors, hoping I didn't see anyone from that same student ministry. Um, sat down in the back and just kind of wonder what I was doing there while trying to remain engaged with the, with what was happening. Um, at the end of it, I walked out, hadn't been struck by lightning, that was a positive. And, uh, and as I walked out, I realized, man, I, I've missed this. Started developing the habit of going back. It took some time. It took the breaking of other habits. And uh, within a, a couple of months, um, I vividly remember sitting in a service and the pastor telling the story of the prodigal son. I listened to that story and for the first time, in the first time in a long time, man, I made a heart connection to it. And, and suddenly I, I didn't see myself as the good son that stayed. I saw myself as the son wanting to come back, but not knowing if his father would accept him. And for the first time, I realized, realized the grace of God. I had experienced it at six. I had embraced it in ways throughout my young life into my teen years. But at 23, I grabbed a hold of it and it became mine. It was no longer about my parents. It was no longer about what I was connected to in my youth. It was about a relationship with Jesus Christ that began to transform me even at that moment, knowing like the firmness of the earth, knowing that it was mine and it would remain mine. And that changed everything. I do believe I was saved 
before that time. I do believe the Lord protected me from so many things in that period between 18 and 23. But I believe at the age of 23, that was the catalyst. That moment was the time when everything changed. And the rest, as they say, is history.